This is the addictive sketcher. Show them. <laughs> I'm back. Oh yes, sir. Oh yes, sir. I'm back. <laughs> I know you've been waiting for this, I know. So thank God it's Tuesday. And what are you going to choose to do today, guys? I want you to paint, draw, sketch, design, sculpt your fears away. Did you hear me? Did you get that point? I want you to paint, sketch, design, draw, sculpt, whatever it is. I want you to paint your fears away. Look, look, listen, listen, listen. I, I tell you this, and this is, this is coming from my heart and I want you to know this. One of the only ways you're gonna improve what you do, like raise the bar, like take your work to the next level, like really get serious, please, for once, get serious. I'm not just talking about get serious. I mean, get serious is you have to decide to paint or draw your fears away. What do I mean? If you have any fear of taking on anything in your creative career or creative um, uh, study or creative business and you're afraid of it, say, say for instance, I'll tell you what, as much as I was sketching people, I found it that I was always having this fear when it came to painting portraits. Like, I, I painted loads of portraits, but I had to make a decision last year that look, I'm gonna overcome this, this, this fear. So I had to decide, look, I'm gonna paint my fears away. So I decided to do what I call a portrait deliberate practice, where I believe in mileage. That's, I was just gonna make sure that I put myself under a challenge. I put myself under pressure. So I said to myself, I'm gonna make sure I paint my fears away. So I decided to do these little, I'll show you, very little, six by eight portraits, all right? I'm just gonna show you a couple. This is one, this is another one, this is another one, you know, they're very little. I'm at number 101 at the moment, and you can imagine, each time I do each one, my fears of attempting portraits, of painting portraits, they begin to fly away. Why? Because the more you do something, it doesn't matter whether it's good or not. You're learning. You're trying to make sure you get better. And as you do it, what happens is you begin to overcome the fear of doing it. And what then happens is it builds your confidence. And then what then happens, this is all like magic, right? You begin to find formulas, you begin to find languages, you begin to find a way of, of, de of delivering, of attacking, of painting, of drawing, of executing your work that you would have never discovered if you didn't put yourself under some, like, it, it's like, it has to be a deliberate thing you're gonna do. I don't know what it is you wanna improve on. You're gonna have to deliberately, I think I've done this video in the past, but I still believe so much in it that I try, I'm, I'm saying it from the bottom of my heart today, set yourself a goal. Set yourself a target. What is giving you fears now? What is what is what is standing in like? I, I don't I, I know I'm supposed to do this, but I've never tried to do it. So say it was sketching, right? And you were afraid of sketching. Start today. One head a day, one hand a day, one thing from life a day, and keep it going. The beauty there is that the more you do this thing you will find that you will begin to
to conquer your fears because out of those mistakes you will find out what's going on you develop a mileage you develop a journey you enjoy the process and don't forget yeah I have to bring myself in here as you're doing whatever you're doing never forget that you might just need somebody to help you just raise the bar a little for me my mentor who I haven't met in the flesh was Morgan Wiseman. I just basically mauled his DVDs. A 10 hour DVD, I mauled it. I learned almost everything from him. So, get someone who you can learn from, who is doing what you're doing, but at least you know that person is doing it at a little bit better or higher than the level you are and listen and learn from them. I do one-to-ones. I do group t tutorials. I do, um, what do they call it? I do um, um, workshops. Just anyone, like I I'm using this opportunity to talk about what I do. So if you wanna learn, you know, I do these things, but it doesn't have to be me. I'm just bringing this in here, just in case you wanna learn. Talk to me, mate, but let's leave me out of it now. It might not be me, it might be someone locally to you. Go and meet that person, send a person a message. It might be a couple of dollars or pounds or whatever, but it will be worth the investment because you know what? You wanna stop it up. So these two things, the major one I'm talking about is you need to put yourself through the mileage. The more you work, the more you work at what you're doing, the more you keep on going, keep on working at it. Ask for feedback, ask for reviews, ask for someone to give you like, like, like tell me what, what, what was going wrong here. If you keep that going, I can guarantee you, give yourself three months or six months or nine months or a year, you will be shocked at the, at the, the progress you've made. I'm telling you, and I'm telling you this from the bottom of my heart. This is the Banji Aladdis. Thank God it's Tuesday. And what are you going to choose to do today? Paint your fears away. Woo! <laughs>